वेलकम बैक प्रॉब्लम फाइव डैश फिफ्टीन सो इन दिस प्रॉब्लम इट इज़ गिवन दैट सॉलिड शॉफ्ट इज मेड ऑफ मटीरियल हैविंग एलाउबल शेयरिंग स्ट्रेस इज टेन मेगा पासकल डिटरमाइन द रिक्वायर्ड डायमीटर ऑफ शॉफ्ट टू द नियरस्ट मिलीमीटर सो यू कैन सी दिस इज द शॉफ्ट ऑल द टॉर्क्स हैव बीन मैंशन एट वेरियस पॉइंट ऑन द गियर्स सो वी हैव टू फाइंड द रिक्वायर्ड डायमीटर ऑफ दिस शॉफ्ट सो लेट स्टार्ट विद द सोल्यूशन सो वट वी विल डू इज दैट the internal loading i will write the internal loading develop in each segment in each segment of shaft is shown will be shown will be shown in torque diagram so what what is torque diagram so we will show you the torque or the the length of this shaft so for that i am going to draw this torque diagram so i have taken two lines and we have a line from here that shows the entire length so at point a you can see a torque of 15 so let this is the torque 15 for example that is in clockwise so we will take downward so moving from a to b we have same torque clear but at point b you have 25 which is 25 newton into meter so total will be 40 so this torque will go toward 40 so this point is 40 now from moving from b to c there is no other torque so it will remain horizontal but at point b you can see there is a torque of 30 newton and that is uh okay uh, uh one thing is that this is counter clockwise so positive again this is counter clockwise this is positive 40 this is clockwise torque so it will be minus 30 so plus 40 minus 30 will bring will bring it to 10 for example this is 10 and again you can see there is no other torque so it will remain same horizontal at point d we have a torque of 60 in clock counter clockwise so plus 10 and 60 will bring it to 70 for example this is 70 and it will remain horizontal till this line correct it it will be horizontal and you can see at the end you have a torque of 70 in clockwise so it will be zero so this is uh, this is the torque right diagram so this is point a this is point b this is point c d e you can do this or either you can take the section and you can draw the you, know, you can find the internal loading in each segment so whatever whatever is possible for you you can do that now you can see from this torque diagram that maximum uh, torque is in segment de clear which is 70 so we will take this torque de for finding the uh, uh, for finding the diameter so we will write it segment de is critical why because it is because it is subjected to maximum internal torque so what we will do we know that allowable sharing stress is equal to maximum torque which is in de multiply by c divided by j so again you can put the value t de is 70 newton c is actually d by 2 and for circular shaft we have j is equal to pi by 4 pi by 32 d power 4 so t allowable is 10 into 10 is to power 6 because 10 mega pascal so 70 into d divided by 2 divided by 
पाई बाई थर्टी टू डी पावर फोर सो नाउ इट्स वेरी ईजी यू कैन ईजीली सॉल्व इट एंड यू विल गेट डी विल बी इक्वल टू जीरो पॉइंट जीरो थ्री टू नाइन वन मीटर और दिस डी इन टर्म ऑफ मिलीमीटर विल बी इक्वल टू थर्टी टू पॉइंट नाइन वन मिलीमीटर एंड इफ यू राउंड अबाउट इट इट विल बी इक्वल टू थर्टी थ्री मिली मीटर सो दिस इज द डायमीटर ऑफ शॉफ्ट दैट कैन बी यूज टू सपोर्ट दिस टॉर्क्स आई होप यू हैव इंजॉयड दिस वीडियो इफ यू लाइक माई वीडियोज दैन सब्सक्राइब इट एंड प्रेस द बेल आइकन सो दैट यू कैन गेट द नोटिफिकेशन अबाउट द latest video and if you have any question you can ask me in comment section thank you